Number 7. 1944 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 68 Full Steps by NGC. 1944 D. Nickels were quite well, with sharp strikes and nice luster. This is another excellent type coin entry for the wartime composition. Like most war nickels this issue is rich in repunched mint mark varieties, all of them rather minor. This lightly toned MS-68 superb gem fetched a sum of $1,440 on January 8, 2024. Number 6. 1970s Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 Red by NGC. According Ron Guth, the really valuable 1970s Large Date Double Dye Obverse is FS101. The other 1970s Large Date Double Dye Obverse is FS103 which shows only minor doubling on the zero of the date and which is worth a tiny fraction of the FS101. Most examples exist in uncirculated grades and displaying full red surfaces. This MS-64 red gem ended up selling for $1,860. Number 5. 1940D Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded as MS-68 FS by NGC. According to Grading Service, 1940D Nickels were quite well made, with most having good strikes and very pleasing luster. Gems are thus plentiful, and so too are coins having 5 full steps or 6 full steps, as this issue is among the more available ones with sharp steps. A couple of repunched Mintmark, RPM, varieties have been reported, but these have not developed much of a following with general collectors. This full steps example ended up selling for $1,980. Number 4. 1966 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, this is the second year that the mint struck silver clad Kennedy half dollars for circulation. The mint struck silver clad Kennedy half dollars from 1965 to 1970. The 1966 P Kennedy half dollar has the second lowest mintage for any silver clad half dollar struck for circulation from 1965 to 1970. The 1966 P Kennedy half dollar appears to be common in grades up to MS64. In MS65 it becomes a bit tough with several hundred graded in this condition. In MS66, it is a bit scarce with possibly less than 200 examples known in this condition. In MS67 they become really scarce. This one was sold for $2,040. Number 3. 1971 Proof Jefferson Nickel with No S Mint Mark. Graded as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1971 No S Proof Jefferson Nickel was accidentally struck with a proof die that was missing the S Mint Mark. This is the only coin in the entire Jefferson Nickel series that has been struck without containing the intended Mint Mark. The coins were found in 1971 proof sets and there are possibly several hundred examples known. This one ended up selling for $3,180. Number 4. 1913 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, from a mintage of 2,848 pieces, the 1913 proof Lincoln scent is rare at the PR67 grade level, with red and brown surfaces. This delightful superb gem proof exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces that have mellowed to light brown in a few areas. I appeal is terrific and the high quality within the grade is confirmed by CAC. It was sold for $6,300. Number 1. And this is 1927 S. Lincoln sent in Mint State 65 Red. Full red examples of this San Francisco issue are challenging in any grade, and they are rare in gem condition with none numerically finer. This piece displays satiny copper orange luster and is well struck, though minor dye erosion is evident in the fields. Housed in an old green label holder this marvelous gem ended up selling for $16,800. That wraps up our exploration of 7 rare coins worth a lot of money in today's market. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on all things numismatic, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future coin adventures.